Hey Virgo, welcome in, welcome in. A little reading for you. I want to do a little preview of Lionsgate. Might talk a little bit about Chiron in retrograde, which happened last week. So there's a lot of energies going on. Can you see Charlie? There he is. <laughs> He's got his own little podium here, sitting right next to me. Aww, good boy. So let's see what's going on for you. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for Virgo. Feel free to swap around the characters. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. Any zodiac signs that show up, I will explore them in the extended. Let's see where we go. Let's see where we go. All right. Okay. Passion and pleasure. Oh, I like that. Passion and pleasure. Grace and gratitude. I'm sensing a theme here. Passion and pleasure, grace and gratitude, watching clouds, lie back, rest and relax. Well, August is a good time to do that. Um, you know, I feel like there's a little bit about give yourself a break. Uh, some of you may be working a little bit too hard. Um, and there, this really does have the feeling of like stop and smell the roses a little bit. Uh, for those of you who are, are, or haven't, um, this is my souls on fire deck. I'm going to do a special class next month. Uh, it might be right around Lionsgate actually. And I'm going to teach you about how to tell when things happen in tarot, in a tarot reading. So if you're interested in that, the link is below. Um, if you haven't purchased your deck, that will get you a free invite to that class. So get on it. All right, let's see where we go here. Lie back, rest, and relax. Time to stop and smell the roses, Virgo. You might be working too hard. You might be working too hard. Queen of Wands underneath. Eight of Cups. Aquarius Energy. Magician. Sag. You're dealing with a Sag. And a Cancerian. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, raising consciousness, yeah. Transformational energy, all right, yeah. Okay, my darling, so I feel like you've got two people here and this is about you taking some kind of action. The person you're dealing with or both people, I feel like this is you. Raising consciousness. So this is a special card in my deck that is reserved for that moment of next level. Okay. When you're like, oh, like you're getting downloads, you're starting to open up to your guidance, you're stepping into your wisdom, whatever it is. And this is coming from the recent past. So I feel like that happened and you're on this spiritual path. You're, you're walking your authentic nature now. And you might be um, you might be expanding into becoming a healer. There's the Aquarian energy of that of a, of the star. There's also this feeling of like it's out there, like it's not really. I'm not there yet. I'm just a novice. I don't know what I'm doing. I just I have to work a lot harder at this. And I feel like the universe is saying like, look at your power. The power is going to come from joy. The power comes from happiness and joy. So that message may make no sense to you right now. Um, how can going out and having a good time, having fun with my friends, you know, going to a baseball game for the first time in eight years, um, you know, walking my dog, spending more time in nature. If I'm away from my desk, what am I doing? Why am I doing that? Or if I'm breaking my routines, there's something wrong with that. I feel like that's what's happening here. You're transforming and you're kind of like up in your head about it. The death energy and the nine of swords. Uh, you have stepped into a new level of consciousness and you're becoming a magician. You're becoming a manifester, a master manifester. And you have this belief that it must be, you know, the same process as I've always used to do work in my life, whatever that is. And 
maybe I have a job that I don't necessarily find spiritually aligned with who I am, but it pays the bills. And I feel like what's happening to you now is you might be moving in the direction of something that's more expansive for yourself. Okay, there's the Leo energy in the fool. Taking a leap of faith, sneaking away from an old way of life, seven of swords, uh, six of swords, moving on, right? Eight of cups, moving on. Um, so in terms of your work, that could be happening. You could also be moving on from a relationship. Uh, I see uh, Scorpio, Leo, Cancer, Aries, Aquarius, Sag. That's a lot of energies we'll look at in the extended. Um, I feel like the universe is saying to you, hey, you know, take, take a chill, okay? Because you're pounding your head on a rock. You're, you're, you're putting in all this time and effort. Imagine if you will this is an old episode of MASH, which is like now it's like 40 years old, right? Um, where, because it's about the Vietnam War, but they're pretending it's about the Korean War and they're in a war zone and a bomb drops and traps two people in the supply room, Margaret and Trapper. And he's like making, making the moves on her and she wants to get out of there. And so she's just like putting her shoulder in it, trying to get that door open, get that door open, get that door open. And that's not really what's required. What's required is to allow other people to see that there's, and let other people do the work there. And he's like, all that energy wasted on a door. Because she is somebody who feels like if I put my shoulder into it, I can do it. And the last part of it is you can do it, but it's requiring a different skill set now. It's requiring a little bit of fun, passion and pleasure. It's requiring grace and gratitude. It's requiring a very different skill set than what you've been employing. The universe, here's Archangel Michael, trying to bring you a new way of doing things. And I feel like you're in the process of healing your old ways about doing work, um, but you're not quite there. And there's going to be a message that comes through very soon. In terms of romantic, um, if this is about romance and not about your work, I feel like there's patterns in, rela in your relationships that you are very still very unconscious about. I feel like when you get into a relationship, it becomes about paying the bills. It becomes about um, doing the daily work, toting that barge and lifting that bail and not getting drunk and landing in jail. Like there's no, it becomes hollowed out of any fun. Like that's for dating. Now that we're married or now that we're in a, in a relationship, it's all about the hard work of cleaning the house and getting the kids to soccer practice and so there's no fun, no joy. There's no whimsy, right? The routines, it's some, they're somehow satisfying that there's routine about it and that's totally fine, but there needs to also be some kind of fun in order for you to expand this relationship. So this could be a new relationship or this could be an existing pattern that you get into relationships and you wonder why you're sitting on the couch every single night watching TV and not talking to your partner and you wonder why it goes away. Okay. There's something there. Um, could be dealing with a cancerian. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do one more thing here before I go. Page pentacles. Okay. So this is a new lesson to be learned. Um, there's a spiritual path lesson. There's a work daily life lesson. There's a how you are in relationship lesson, radical change happening. Okay. Radical change happening. So I'm going to continue on with this message. I will look at Sag, Aquarius, Aries, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo. I will look at all of those. If you're dealing with any of those, or you will be dealing with any of those, uh, you can check that out in the extended. If this resonated for you, you can continue on with me. There's a link below.